tutorial on how to play Crash by Eden. We're in standard tuning. We've got a capo on our third fret. We're going to start out here by learning the chords that we need to play in each the verse and the chorus. And then we're going to walk through the verse and the chorus. I'm also going to post a link to the Ultimate Guitar Chords page so you can see the exact chord progression um, over the lyrics of the song. So, we're going to start out here with the chords. If you know how to play these chords, go ahead and skip ahead in the video so you don't have to watch this. We've got an A minor chord, an E minor chord, a C, a D minor chord, an F open chord, or an F bar chord, doesn't matter, and a G chord. Okay, so we're going to start out with our A minor chord. First finger on the first fret of the B string, middle finger on the second fret of the D, ring finger on the second fret of the G. We play the A, D, G, B, E strings. For an E minor, your middle finger is going to go up to the second fret of the A, ring fingers on the second fret of the D, we play all six strings. For a C, your index finger is on the first fret of the B, middle finger is on the second fret of the D, ring fingers on the third fret of the A. For your D minor, your index finger is on the first fret of the high E, middle finger is on the second fret of the G, ring finger is on the third fret of the B, play the D, G, B, E strings. For our F open chord, we're going to have our index on the first fret of the B, middle fingers on the second fret of the G, ring fingers on the third fret of the A, pinky slid zonder on the third fret of the D string. And play the A, D, G, B strings, try not to play that high E, although it's okay if you do play it. And then finally for our G chord, we have our ring finger on the third fret of the high E, middle finger on the third fret of the low E, index finger on the second fret of the A string. Here's your G chord. So those are the six chords we're going to be using. I'm going to teach you now the intro or the verse, whatever you'd like to call it, and the chord progression behind that. So we're going to start out on our A minor chord here, and we're going to pick our A and our B strings. You're going to do that, and you're going to slide your E minor, and you're going to pick your E and your G strings. Then we're going to go to our C chord, and you're going to pick your A and your B strings again. Then we're going to go to our D minor chord and we're going to pick the D and the E string. Back to a C chord, pick your A and your E string. To your G chord and pick your low E and your B string. Okay, so that's the first part of the progression. So I'm going to walk through that again here. So starting on the A minor, we have our A and our B strings. E minor, we have our E and our G strings. C, we have the A and the B strings. I'm gonna hold that for a second. Then we're gonna go to our D minor chord. We're gonna play our D and our E strings. To our C chord, A and the E string. To our G chord, E and the B string. That's the first part of the verse. Um, for the second part of the verse, we're gonna go to our F chord. And we're going to pick our A and our B strings. We're going to go to our E minor, pick our E and our G. We're going to go to the G chord, pick our E and our B. Then to our C chord and pick the A and the B string. Then we're going to go ahead and do a similar progression. We're going to start on our F. Pick those two strings. A minor, pick the same two strings. E minor, pick your E and your G. C, pick your A and your B. So that second part of the verse or the intro sounds like this. We're going to start with that first part. So E minor, G, C, F, A minor, E minor, C. And then it goes back into the part we already know. So that part, the A minor, to your E minor, to your C, to your D minor, to your C, to your G. After you do that, um, it switches up a little bit in the intro here. It goes F, G, and then it goes through this part pretty quickly. So it's going to go D minor, F, C, F. 
So that part that goes quick goes like this. F, G, and this part comes up quick. D minor is F, C, F. And the strings I'm picking for the F are the A and the G strings. Picking the A and the B strings for the C. And then it comes back to an A minor, A and the B strings, and to the E minor for your E and your G strings. with a C that's going to lead you out of the intro of the verse into the chorus and the chorus is a little different here it's going to pick up in the uh, pattern or the picking pattern is going to pick up so it's going to go So we're going to start out with the F chord, pick the root note, A string, and alternate between the G and the B strings. So we're going to do that twice for our F chord, one, two, three, we're actually going to do it four times, four, A minor, G, F. on your F, A minor, G, twice on your F, A minor, G, F, A minor, G, F, A minor, G, F, That's it, just F, A minor, G for the verse or the chorus. Then we come up to the second verse, and the second verse switches up a little bit. You can just go, like just pick down the strings. So D, G, B, E, F, A minor, G, D minor, E minor. F, A minor, G, F, A minor, G, F, A minor, G, and then it ends on an F. And then it comes back to the uh, intro or verse where it goes. know how to play that part so uh, I'm not counting on you to memorize those chord progressions for any of that stuff that's why I'm putting the link to the ultimate guitar chords page in the uh, description here that's gonna be it for this tutorial if you have other questions go ahead and comment below if you'd like to see more tutorials please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching <laughs>